Hello everybody, welcome to another video. Now, of course, seeing this video, some of you will probably be, that some regular viewers of me, of mine, should I say, um, and also kind of anyone in general, any recent subscribers to me or whatever, um, that are aware of TF Nation or whatever, of this convention, will be quite surprised of me making a video this early. Um, I wasn't going to make a video at all, uh, but I've just received the email. Um, I'm not going to go into complete specifics of the email, even though these emails are meant for people that have obviously been to the convention and are on their mailing list. So all this video is, is just to kind of kind of shed some light to those people that are going, considering on going next year for the very, very first time, that there is a new pricing structure being introduced uh, and also to let those people know that maybe haven't seen the email yet or whatever or haven't received an email yet or whatever whatever reason that that, that is um, but basically this video is just to pretty much kind of just let you guys know that TF Nation 2022 is indeed still happening even though the guys, from what, I, what I've read here, is they have had one hell of a couple of years. Um, yes, they've been doing the big broadcasts for the past two years, which were brilliant, by the way. Um, of course, my personal opinion, there were, there, were, there were nothing compared to the physical main events, but they did a great job regardless with those um, f on them virtual big broadcasts versions that they did um what they managed to accomplish was brilliant but anyway let me get back on track so i've just received an email basically saying uh, basically just entitled important information about tf nation 2022 tickets now the tickets aren't on sale yet um it looks like anybody that has that purchased a ticket i think in 2020 yes yes 2020 Anyone that... Yes, it says there. If I read... If I read... So, yeah. So, basically, if anyone that has... That already purchased, purchased a ticket or a weekend pass or whatever for TF Nation 2020, which was, obviously was cancelled, and then obviously 2021 was cancelled, but they did the big broadcast versions instead. Um, so, basically, uh, if you bought a ticket... Back in 2020, when it was a fe the very first time it got cancelled physically, uh, you it will obviously be rolled over. So you will be, um, it says in the email, that you will be um, contacted individually in order to sort all that out. Uh, so keep an, eye, keep an eye on your emails or your junk folder or whatever. Make sure you check, uh, keep an eye on your emails if you are someone that is waiting for a rollover ticket. Um, so yeah, so TF Nation 2022 is indeed going forward, which I I knew it was going to, I knew it was, because obviously they announced TF Nation 2022 um, during the big broadcast, which was back in August this year. Um, so I knew it was going forward, but this firmly confirms it still is. Um, of course, we we don't know what's around the corner, obviously. We've got to be open-minded to a certain degree, but um, I am beyond happy that this is coming back. Now, like I said earlier on in the video, that they, have, they are introducing a new pricing system, um, a new thingy system where they're having to bring in... Um, they're having to do a charge for the Friday, so the Friday is going to be its own event its own ticketed event and then they're doing add-ons for the club con and other things so i'm not going to read what is said in the email because obviously this is this is an email meant for people that are on their mailing list so obviously most people that are on their mailing list would have received the same email so this video is pre pretty much only to those people that have never been so they won't be on the mailing list. I know a few people that have never not, not had the chance to go because of the virus um, due to the pandemic or whatever, and they've not had the chance to be able to go. So they obviously will not be on the mailing list. Um, so basically, this video is for their for their 
benefit more than anyone else's. So that's why I'm making it. That's why I always make my videos about TF Nation, isn't it? To be got to be honest with you. But um, so yeah, so I will put a link below to the TF Nation website. Um, all the ne necessary information is on there, uh, and also if you want to contact them, email them, you can do that by via that website as well. So I'm not going to link the email or anything that I've received. Um, I don't think I should. I need to do that. I think a lot of this information will genuinely will be put up on the website anywhere uh, in due course. So just keep it. Just check the link below for the website, and uh, you can read it at your own leisure. Uh, all the new up to date information in regards to next year's event. So yeah. So basically, let me just scroll down on the email here. Um, so yeah, like like just to confirm you. New ticketing system. I'm not going to say prices yet. Um, and also hotels. I'm going to just say this very quickly. That hotels aren't going to be releasing for a little bit longer yet. Um, usually TF Nation, they, they confirm this. It's usually about February of every new year. So basically 2022 February is when the tickets usually go on sale. But they confirmed in this email that they will be going up a little bit earlier. Um, so from the 13th of November, the 13th of November, Saturday the 13th of November this year, 2021, um, any people that ordered a ticket back in 2020, they will be given the option to get early, early chance to get the add-ons and their Friday night and things of that nature. Um, basically, there are extra bits on top of their ticket that is rolled over. Um so you will be given um like a twenty four like a twenty four hour uh, early bed chance to 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 get your stuff before it goes up goes towards anybody else. I mean, I haven't I never bought a ticket back in twenty twenty uh, when it was originally cancelled because the reason why is because I was very unsure about what was going on. Uh, also, at, back in 2020, I was a little bit unsure about travelling in the first place. So, I deliberately didn't book... Um, I deliberately didn't book a ticket back in 2020 because I was very unsure about what was going on. Um, at the time, when the, the pandemic first really started hit the hit major news and it was becoming a big major problem... Um, yeah, I, I basically, I, there was very little information coming to us from the TFM peeps, um, because obviously they were keeping an eye on what was going on, obviously. Um, but I basically, it finally got confirmed, and I thought, you know what, because I didn't know what their policy would be as well, in regards to rollover tickets back then, uh, because TF Nation... Uh, well, they've never had to do rollover tickets before because it's never been cancelled. Um, that was back in twenty twenty was the first time it ever be was physically cancelled. So yeah, so that's the video for today then, a short but sweet one. But I just wanted to let you guys know because I know there's a few people that follow me, some good friends of mine, man that are really really wanting to go to TFN some year and have been unable to because of the whole situation and uh, a little bit unsure about going outside due to possibly getting the virus and all that stuff and waiting to get ja um, the jabs or vaccinations and such um so yeah so there's the information update so like i said check the description below the link to the tf nation website all necessary information is there for you and again if you wish if you are a first time person that is considering and going to this convention then you can email them and just ask some general questions about certain things that you maybe don't understand or would like them to highlight a little bit further for you uh, just any information you generally need you can just email them and they will most likely will be very happy to uh, sort you out um, you know, the TFN guys are a bunch of incredibly professional, brilliant, hardworking, driven individuals that are that do a great job. And I, I myself, I'm speaking for myself here, but no doubt this is a universal thing between people that have ever been to TF Nation. But I'm speaking for myself here that 
I really, really want this to continue, and so do they. They they've worked very hard to keep this to, to do to make this convention and this unprecedented situation that we are all living in at the moment has really knocked them for shit. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It has really knocked them for shit, and that goes not just for TFN but every major convention out there and anything that does live events and uh, bands and anything that do that that. Uh, need money from tickets and touring and anything like that has really been hit and a lot of people have lost their jobs people have lost loved ones so yeah it's been a very very difficult couple of years and uh financially and also emotionally uh so yeah uh, so yeah, there's the video for you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Again, check the link below for the uh, link to the website, TF Nation website. So TF Nation 2022 is indeed still happening. And uh, I'm very, very much hoping I can get there. I need to book the time off because obviously I'm at a new job now. So my uh, I can't book anything off yet until January anyways, uh, any time off. Because that's when my holiday structure resets. So hopefully from January, uh, so at uh, some point in January, I'm going to be putting in my holidays for the year. Uh, so make sure it's all sorted and tickly-boo. And I will hopefully see you all there, you awesome people. And those people that are considering on going for the first time. So see you soon, people. Bye-bye. Stay awesome.